the flower of life. A name whispered in reverence, a symbol etched across time, appearing in temples on ancient artifacts and even within the delicate structure of nature itself, it transcends cultural boundaries. Across the globe, from the sun-drenched sands of Egypt to the mystical temples of India, the flower of life has captivated hearts and minds for millennia. But what is it about this ancient design that continues to resonate so deeply within the human psyche? Perhaps it is the inherent beauty of its perfect symmetry, or maybe it is the tantalizing possibility that it holds the key to unlocking profound cosmic truths. Join us as we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries of the flower of life. The origins of the flower of life are shrouded in the mists of time, its story a tapestry woven from ancient whispers and archaeological discoveries. One of its earliest known appearances is in the Temple of Osiris at Abydos, Egypt, carved with astonishing precision over 5,000 years ago. From the forbidden city in China to the synagogues of ancient Israel, from the sacred sites of Turkey to the temples of India, the flower of life has been discovered etched into stone, painted on walls and woven into textiles. Its presence in such diverse cultures suggests a shared understanding, a universal language that transcends time and geographical boundaries. Some scholars believe the flower of life represents the fundamental forms of space and time, the building blocks of creation itself. From the smallest atom to the largest galaxy, the flower of life reveals a hidden order, a cosmic blueprint that connects all things. To truly understand the flower of life, we must first delve into the realm of sacred geometry, an ancient science that explores the mathematical proportions and patterns found in nature. The flower of life, with its intricate web of circles and intersecting arcs, is considered a fundamental symbol within this sacred geometry. It is from this seemingly simple pattern that all other geometric shapes can be derived including the five platonic solids, the tetrahedron, cube, octahedron, dodecahedron, and icosahedron. These three-dimensional forms, believed by Plato to be the building blocks of the universe, are found within the flower of life, hinting at its profound connection to the fundamental structure of reality. The flower of life is also believed to represent the flow of divine energy, the creative force that animates all of existence. By studying the flower of life and its relationship to sacred geometry, we gain a deeper appreciation for the elegance and order that underlies the seemingly chaotic nature of our universe. Within the intricate design of the flower of life lies a smaller, equally significant pattern known as the seed of life. Composed of seven overlapping circles arranged in perfect symmetry, the seed of life represents the very genesis of creation, the initial spark from which all life and form emerge. According to ancient traditions, the seed of life represents the seven days of creation as described in various creation myths. Each circle symbolizes a day, a step in the unfolding of the cosmos from the void. This process of replication and expansion continues with each new sphere emerging from the center of the previous one until seven spheres are formed, perfectly intertwined and balanced. This is the seed of life, the blueprint for the creation of the universe and everything within it. The flower of life's connection to the fundamental principles of creation extends beyond the seed of life. Embedded within its intricate design are two key mathematical concepts that are found throughout the natural world, the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. The Fibonacci sequence, in which each number is the sum of the two preceding ones, is reflected in the way the flower of life expands outward from its central point. The golden ratio, approximately 1.618, is also present within the flower of life. 
These mathematical principles encoded within the flower of life demonstrate the interconnectedness of all things. From the smallest seed to the vastness of space, the same patterns and proportions repeat themselves, revealing a hidden order that governs the universe. The flower of life is not just a symbol of cosmic creation. It also holds profound significance for us as human beings. Many believe that the flower of life is a blueprint for our own physical and energetic bodies. When we look at the geometric proportions of the human form, we see echoes of the flower of life's design. For instance, the human body can be perfectly contained within a circle, with the navel at the center. Furthermore, the flower of life is often associated with the seven chakras, energy centers located along the spine. By meditating on the flower of life and its connection to our own bodies, we can begin to unlock our own inner potential and tap into the universal energy that flows through all things. The flower of life's influence extends far beyond the realm of ancient temples and esoteric knowledge. It has found its way into countless cultures throughout history, appearing in art, architecture, music, and even everyday objects. In Islamic art, for example, the flower of life is a common motif found in mosques, palaces, and religious texts. Similarly, in Celtic art, the flower of life appears in intricate knotwork designs, symbolizing the interconnectedness of life, death, and rebirth. From jewelry and clothing to tattoos and home decor, the flower of life has become a popular choice for those seeking to express their connection to spirituality, nature, and the interconnectedness of all things. Whether it is adorning a 14th century mosque in Morocco or a 21st century yoga studio in California, the flower of life continues to captivate and inspire. In a world often characterized by division and uncertainty, the flower of life stands as a powerful symbol of unity and harmony. It reminds us that beneath the surface of our differences lies a fundamental interconnectedness, a shared humanity that binds us together. For many today, the flower of life serves as a visual mantra, a focal point for meditation and spiritual exploration. By contemplating its intricate geometry and its connection to the fundamental principles of creation, we can tap into a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe we inhabit. In a world increasingly dominated by technology and the rational mind, the flower of life offers a counterbalance, reminding us of the power of intuition, imagination, and the interconnectedness of all things. The beauty of the flower of life lies not only in its aesthetic appeal, but also in its ability to spark our curiosity and lead us on a journey of self-discovery. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the flower of life, we begin to see its patterns reflected in every aspect of our existence. From the spiral of our DNA to the rhythm of our heartbeat, from the cycles of nature to the interconnectedness of human relationships, the flower of life reveals a hidden order, a cosmic dance that connects us all. By embracing the wisdom of this ancient symbol, we open ourselves to a world of possibility, a world where the boundaries of perception dissolve and we recognize the interconnectedness of all things. The flower of life, a symbol as old as time itself, continues to captivate and inspire us today. Its intricate beauty and profound symbolism speak to a deep longing within the human heart a desire to connect with something greater than ourselves, to understand the mysteries of creation, and to find our place in the grand tapestry of existence. Its presence in ancient cultures across the globe suggests a shared wisdom, a universal language that transcends time and cultural boundaries. From the temples of Egypt to the synagogues of Israel, from the mosques of Persia to the cathedrals of Europe, the flower of life has served as a symbol of unity, harmony, and the interconnectedness of all things.
The flower of life is more than just a symbol. It is a key unlocking the door to a deeper understanding of ourselves and the universe we inhabit.